Hey guys, Big Eternal Flames Gaming. It's fantastic to be back with you with another video, PUBG. Uh, following on the coattails of the last one, which you guys seem to be enjoying. Don't forget, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, put uh, some comments of what you'd like to see further from PUBG um, uh, at, on the comments for this video. This time, we're trying, uh, Shadow and I are trying to do something a fair bit harder. We're going to try and drop on the military base, which uh, is a very popular spot. There are supposed to be really good drops there, a lot of rifles, but it is a very popular drop and a lot of people drop there. So we are expecting a lot of hostility, a lot of bodies dropping, and uh, the plan is if we can get from the military, military base, maybe get a boat, maybe get, we have to get a vehicle somehow, uh, work our way to end game, wherever um, that ends, that tends to be, but it does tend to be somewhere in the middle of the island. Um, get a vehicle and a top 10 finish. That is our objective here. So say hello again to Shadow guys. Hey guys. And uh, so, fingers crossed. So this is the second bit we've done for you guys. Uh, I'm pretty stoked to be doing another one for you and military base. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard. So I'm going to throw it to uh, Shadow, and uh, let's see how we go. Top 10 finish is what we're looking for. Okay, so basically, um, so it's Norfolk Island, where the military base is, is high risk, high reward. So you get good weapons, but you'll also have a lot of buddies chasing you around. Um, as far as vehicles go, um, which we'll need to know, um, there are 23 possible vehicle spawns as well as two garages with garages having over 50% um, chance of spawning a vehicle and vehicle spawns uh, less than 50%. There's 16 boat spawns around the um, Sosnovka Island but they are over one square kilometer from the actual military base. So if you're trying to um, drive a boat up to Yesnaya Pol Poliana, Roshok, Georgia Pole, or just go to um, Farm or Milta, you have to run a long way. Um, so, after we've cleared out this area, we're going to be looking for a vehicle, either to get to the boats or to get across the bridge. Um, as far as um, looting goes, um, it's high risk, high reward, but we don't seem to be running into so much luck at the moment. Um, it has high spawns for level 3 helmets, um, body armor, and backpacks. But we seem to be running into a bit of trouble here with not that much in the weapons department. Um, the military base is also very wide open. There's not much cover if you're not in a building. And the buildings themselves don't have like any furniture in them. So you gotta watch your back at all um, times. There you go, military helmet. Okay, so here's a prime example. We get two, um, well, I get two uncommon slash rare weapons. The SKS, which is a one-shot sniper rifle, and the Car 98 k which is uh, bolt action. The difference between the SKS and the Car 98 is the SKS is single shot, but you can shoot simultaneously, so it's semi-automatic, whereas the Car 98, um, being bolt action, you shoot once every three seconds because you have to reload every after every shot. They both use 7.62 millimeter um, ammunition as well, so I'm gonna have to find another weapon sometime soon.
you guys, don't go to the military base unless you are ready for a dogfight because it, it pretty much, we had a fairly good drop. We did see people coming in when we were dropping, um, but um, if they dropped before us, they got into positions really early. They were here, as you can see, um, because Shadow gets, uh, knocks one of them down and kills them, but um, they, if they've dropped before us, they've taken up positions and they're basically waiting and they're gonna, they're gonna snipe us out. So if you're not ready to have a full on um, fire fire, do not drop here. So you gotta be pretty confident. If you wanna, you wanna come, to, come to the military base, have a plan, have a plan of how to get out, um, have a plan of how you're gonna get, um, stay in front of the shield um, and get to end game, okay? Um, so here in the other room, uh, we got another uncommon uh, rare drop, uh, the VWS. The VWS is actually a very good weapon. It has a built-in 4x scope and a silencer on the end, and it uses 9mm um, ammunition, which is much more common than 7.62 or 5.56. And I handed it to um, Big here because I already have the Car 98 and, well, wielding double sniper rifles is not going to really help you at all. VWS is semi-automatic just like my SKS, but um, the VWS comes with a scope and a silencer. Um, you have to find those as attachments for the SKS. Here we're also in a red zone. Um, red zones is where uh, one of the passenger planes comes along and bombs in a straight line. If you don't know where the plane is, you should probably stay indoors. As far as I know, um, if you're indoors in either a single story, double story or higher building, um, you won't take damage. Um, however, if you're outside, I have taken damage in a vehicle. I have definitely taken damage on foot with no cover. and. If you're not in duos or squads, it's one shot and you're dead. So just stay indoors, or if you see the line of the planes bombing, um, stay away from it if you're outdoors. The other thing is, um, with the red zone plane, you can't hear it. The plane you're hearing right there is a supply drop plane. So, when you're in a red zone, you can't tell where the plane's actually coming from because you can't hear it. Um, unlike the first passenger plane and the supply drop plane. So, you have to be, you have to be very careful. This is the other pitfall with landing military base. Um, if you aren't lucky enough to get a random spawn vehicle on the road somewhere, you're gonna have to leg it for a long, long distance. And you're out in the open and the prime positions that people will take up is where Shadow, uh, Shadow was looking up on the top of that hill. They'll just, they'll just um, look down and snipe you. So um, there's a lot of issues with dropping at military. Yes, you get you can get armed to the teeth, but getting out alive and getting into mid game and end game is really difficult. But we, I wanted to bring you guys, well, we wanted to bring you guys this video to show you how it can be done. Um, you need a little bit of luck, but the rewards are there. You can get out with really good weapons, uh, but prepare to, if there's no vehicles spawning, be prepared to cross country, large areas across country, fully exposed, um, you will come under fire at some point. Um, if you get lucky, you won't get shot and killed. But um, yeah, there's pros and cons to everything in this game and the risk associated with landing a military base, you've got to have a bit of luck for it to pay off. So yeah. Yeah, just right here um, where we are. We're one square kilometer from the outskirts of Sosnovka Island. Um, I did see a vehicle before, but someone took it, um, so we're going to have to run the long way. And as you can see before, I was shot at, I'm not sure about Big, but I'm pretty sure they were running away from the incoming um, zone. 
just as we are. Because I couldn't find him and he'd shoot me again. Yeah, so what we're doing here is really, really risky. Um, I keep saying the word luck. You've got to have some luck in this game if you're going to do what we've done here. But um, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons yourself as a player. Do you want to risk getting the um, really high-powered rare weapons uh, that will carry you through at the end game? Um, or do you want to drop somewhere safer, sort of more in the middle of the island, where you can get to end game, mid game, and end game with more safety and not worry about the shield so much? Um, yeah. It's a tough call, to be honest, but I mean, the rewards are here definitely if you can get the weapons. Um, we haven't encountered too many combat situations here, so, you know, it may have been our day, but um, anyway. Top 10 finish still in the cards here, so we're up 56 alive and counting, so I'm looking for a vehicle. And there's a vehicle. Misfire. Um, oh, no, no. What am I talking about? So as you saw there, um, I was going to use the Car 98, but, you know, it was a bit of a good shot, so... I had to take him out with the SKS. Um, because it's semi-automatic and I can't wait three seconds for this guy to start shooting me. Um, just a note here. Um, buggies give no cover for the guy on the back. The guy on the back can shoot um, from the mounted position, but there's like no cover. Uh, and you can't shoot at all from the bike with the sidecar. You're so exposed one of those. It, it is a vehicle, a bike and a sidecar. Um, it'll get you from A to B a lot quicker than doing it by foot, but I, I mean, a, a buggy is preferable. What you want to try and get yourself is a, a Jeep, a, 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 an armored transport like a Jeep or something like that. They're really, really good. While you're in the blue zone as well, um, you have reduced um, speed and handling. As you can see right here, I am drifting around all over the place. Um, I think that's part of um, PUBG um, being uh, based on reality. You're taking damage within the blue zone, so I don't know. I'm guessing uh, they're trying to make a situation where the driver can't like uh, focus on what they're doing. It's really annoying. But as you can see right now, there's nothing wrong with the car. It's just that I was in the blue zone, and it's just lower handling um, than outside. And as you can see here, we're going at um, 80 kilometers an hour. Within the blue zone, you can only go to a top of 40 kilometers an hour in a buggy. It just makes it harder. And uh, if you guys can see the alive count, we've gone from mid 50s down to 40s. And because we dropped at um, military base, we are armed to the teeth. So if you probably look at what we set to do here, our key performance indicators. Um, so far we're going pretty well. We got um, the rare rifle weapons that we can use at end game. Um, we don't have to stop here. I mean, it'd be nice to get a bit of extra ammo. We're gonna have to do that at some point, but um, everyone else that didn't drop at military, unless they got really lucky with their, their, their drops, um, has got to stop and, and load up. And it makes them more susceptible. Um, to, to being killed, so, and we picked up a car here which was a stroke of luck, so. Yeah, four wheel drive, better, um, overall armor than a buggy, uh, for both the driver and any passengers. All right guys, so we're not gonna chat all the way through the rest of the video. We wanna leave you guys in a bit of suspense. Let's see if we can get that top 10 finish. That's the objective. Getting out of military base. And yeah, we've got company here. This is what happens. You go and try and hold up, get some ammo, and the friends drop in. Okay guys, um, it's been fantastic doing this video for you. Let's see if we can get a top 10 finish. If you like what you see guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, share, that would be fantastic. Um, 
We'll see you guys again soon for another PUBG video. All the best from Big. Take care. All the best, guys. See you guys.